What is SIPs construction? As governments and businesses look to more energy efficient and environmentally friendly policies, Structural Insulated Panels, SIPs, is a construction system being embraced more and more. This method has been used in the USA over the past 50 years, but SIPs are now enticing stronger interest over here in Australia. Used for all building types from schools to retail developments, structural insulated panels are also gaining popularity from the homeowner builder sector for their versatility. So what exactly does a SIPs construction consist of and why is popularity increasing? Made in advance before reaching the construction site, the SIPs are factory made to the precise measurements of the building's design. The panels are made as a composite through layering a rigid insulating material between outer boards. The subsequent panel is strong whilst also very well insulated. In addition to this, the SIPs are extremely lightweight and quick to erect due to their precise digital design. The most common materials in SIPs manufacturing are oriented strand board, OSB, with a core of expanded polystyrene, EPS, although a range of other materials can also be used. Depending on design, the SIPs are available in a choice of thicknesses and can be used for walls, floors and roofs for all types of buildings. The large prefabricated units, 1.2 metres wide by 4.8 metres long, can be installed on site quickly, saving labour costs and allowing the work from the subsequent tradesmen to begin earlier. SIPs allow many other time-saving benefits, including pre-cut or pre-fitted door or window openings. Openings can be cut on site, however it is important that this is agreed to in advance with the SIPs provider and that they are a minimum of 500 millimetres from the top of the panel. Utilising SIPs over traditional timber frame can save on an average four weeks site time and almost eight weeks for a traditional brick built home. For designs integrating SIPs into walls, floors and roofs, a degree of uniformity can be achieved at the building's interfaces, meaning less air leakage and greater consistency with the construction's overall insulation. SIPs have become a popular method of construction due to these environmentally friendly properties. Creating airtight structures is paramount to reducing energy bills and SIPs are excellent at this. Another key aspect of energy efficient homes is the reduction of repeated cold bridging needed when striving for passive house certification. As the panels are larger than in timber frame construction, the spacing of structural timber goes from 600 millimetre centres to 1200 millimetre centres, and this dramatically reduces the amount of timber battens, thus giving more insulation. The House Energy Rating Scheme in Australia is looking for increased energy efficiency in buildings, and SIPS is an excellent building system for this purpose. Improving the R values of walls and roofs can be fairly straightforward simply by increasing the levels of insulation. There are therefore a number of commonly used panel widths ranging from 117mm internal load bearing walls, 167mm, 217mm and over 300mm for passive house projects. The very precise engineered process delivers excellent efficiencies and as each and every panel is cut to the correct size beforehand, there's minimal on-site waste. Any of the timber offcuts in the factory can usually be fully recycled too. SIPs also offer a lot aesthetically as a design concept as they can be used to create open or vaulted roof spaces. Typically, roof construction relies on a conventional trust roof to develop the roof space but as SIPs are glued together following a precise design, they can span from ridge to eaves, a max of 4.8 metres, with at most one intervening horizontal beam. Building roofs with SIPs is therefore a much quicker process compared to other conventional roof systems and is very cost effective as the insulation is built in. For this reason, SIPs are proving very popular with room and roof designs and are particularly useful for building one and a half storey houses and three storey townhouses. Traditionally, when finishing a building and render, you need to build a blockwork wall to render onto, which has to sit on a foundation and be tied to the kit. However, with a SIPS kit, you can utilise lightweight render carrier boards, which can be fixed directly to the structure via timber battens. This removes the need for blockwork and the foundation which it sits on. The cost involved in utilising a SIPS construction method tends to be between 5 to 10% more than the likes of a timber frame or brick and block. However, this 10 to 15% more on the frame price actually represents around 3 to 5% of the overall project costs. This is a result as the savings made through the built-in insulation as well as the enormous amount of on-site time saved by choosing SIPs. Having a SIPs built home also brings lower energy costs over the life of the property. 
the majority of SIPS home builders tend to install a mechanical ventilation heat recovery system in order to make the most of the incredibly high levels of air tightness. This maintains comfortable internal temperatures and recycles the building's heat very efficiently. So, in opting for the structural insulated panels construction method, you can save costly on-site time as well as energy costs in the future with a reliable reputation for airtight and comfortable living spaces. SIPS is a great system for energy efficient construction. Thank you.